Hi Stampers, this is Amy Whalen. Thank you so much for visiting me at amysinklings.com. Today I wanted to show you how to make this cute little basket. It is so simple. I actually got this idea when I participated in a blog hop. And this idea came from Karen Hallam, if I'm saying her last name correctly. Her blog name is Karen's Blog. So I got this idea from her and it's so simple, it's so cute, I wanted to share it with all of you. All right. So we're going to start with a piece of 6 inch by 6 inch designer series paper. And I'm using this one because it is part of our celebration catalog. You can find it here on page 4. It's called Best Year Ever. And this um, designer series paper is so cute. I love the colors. They're super yummy. Great for spring. So I thought I would use that. Now the celebration event where you can earn free product for every $50 in product that you purchase, um, that event is coming to an end at the end of this month, March 31st. So I would suggest you take advantage of it because it's the best promo that Stampin' Up! has. Alright, so we're going to start with our scoring plate. And I already have the markers at 2 inches and 4 inches because that's where you want to score it. Now this is designer series paper, so you don't press down as hard as you would if you were using cardstock. Because if you do press down really hard, you might rip it since it's a little lighter weight than cardstock. And that's all you do. So I'll move the plate. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and actually fold on the scoring lines. Do I have my bone folder? Here it is. So you're going to want to go ahead and fold on the score lines. And I'm going to show you a, um, a template that I made. Okay, if this was the right side, because this is the side I'm using, so I'm considering this the right side. What we're going to do, as this shows is we're going to cut on the score line here up to this score line and we're going to cut here. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to cut it again. It's hard to see the score lines. Okay, so this is what I have right now. Just like the template. Now as the template shows you, when you fold these in, you're going to put glue at the top half of that section, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm actually using, where did I put it, here we go, our Tombow glue. You can use glue dots, I've done that as well, um, but I happen to like Tombow glue a lot. As I've said before, it, um, it sets really fast, and um, I think it's perfect for this because you just hold it for a brief moment and then um, it sets. Now on here too, you'll see I have some dots, and that reminds me where to put the other glue, okay? So I know, let's see, how is this gonna go? Oh, I did that wrong, oh, that's too crazy. Well, we're gonna go ahead and assemble it this way. We're gonna assemble it as if that's the right side. What you're going to do is bring these up until these two points touch. So I know I need a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue here, okay? So we're gonna bring these up until these points meet and then I'm going to push it and hold it here, here, and here. So I'm holding it where we put glue on the inside, I'm holding it where we put glue here, and I'm holding it where we put glue there. And see, it sets that quickly. So we're going to go around to the other side, and again, I know it's going to be like that. So we're going to put glue here, and we're going to put glue here. Gosh, I hope I'm doing this right. All right. You know, it's so different when you make these when um, you're by yourself and when you make them when you're filming. Isn't that true? Huh. But sometimes accidents are the best things that happen. So we'll see how this one looks. Okay? So now we're ready to go. Now I also cut a strip from the same designer series paper. There's no rhyme or reason. I do know that this is a little bit longer than six inches, but it doesn't matter. Uh, frankly, this was just scrap. So we're going to put a little glue here and put a little glue here. And again, we're just going to hold it until it sticks. I love this paper. Isn't it cute? All of our designer series papers are two-sided. It's a different design on either side. Um, I love this. Okay, so that's how you set it. Okay? Now let me show you the template that I made again so that it's evident how I constructed the box. Okay, again here, 
I put glue on the top section of that flap and the top section of that flap. And then I also, well, you know, I'll show you this is easier. When I brought these two pieces together, I matched these two points, okay? And because I have glue here, I then smashed it together. You can do that and then come back and add glue at the points if you want, okay? But it's simply, the simple construction is you bring these points together, hold it against the inner flap that already has glue on it, and then you can go back and glue down these points if you want to. And you do that to both sides. It's super, super easy. Now I went ahead and um, I'm going to bring this one in because I've made this one too. These colors match this better than they match that. So I'm going to put this one aside. This was assembled the exact same way. And I've already um, heat embossed um, these tags. Now this one is from the stamp set for peeps sake. And this is from the stamp set um, Kinda Eclectic, which is absolutely lovely. I'm going to put a little bit of glue at the bottom of the wing after having bent the... Um, the butterfly a bit and again I'm just going to hold it and it's set. I'll put some glue on the back, put that in place and I'm going to hold it. And then for a little extra bling I put on one of our um, rhinestones and that's it super super easy. Now here's one that I already filled with um, grass and I'll attach that as well. In fact I'll go ahead and do that now. Here's another one. Put a little glue here. Put that there. Two friends of mine loaned me some stamp, stamping supplies so I made these for them as a thank you. Oh, oh, that didn't glue. Let's try that again. Um, another way to do this would be to use mini glue dots. I've done that too. I just thought that this would be quicker and easier. And since so many of us already have that fabulous Tombow glue, love this stuff. That's why I went ahead and used it. Let me go ahead and put a rhinestone on that one as well. And there you have it, my friends. A super easy little basket and all I did here was I just shredded some whisper white cardstock with my cutter and then crumpled it all up. Isn't that adorable? Um, I also, I'm also making a bunch of these to put out um, on our table for Easter as a little um, go away gift and um, just as a special treat especially since we'll have some children. So give it a try. You can do this for any season. Thank you so much for visiting Amy's Inklings. Bye bye.